Alrighty, the last project I'd like to tackle today is to get my herb seeds replanted. Um, I have done this a couple times this year, but I've been kind of doing some experiments. So, um, but it's getting late enough in the season that I want to do it right. So we've got our seed starting mix in our um, seed starting pan. And so we are going to start with the ones that I don't already have. So I bought a few the other day. I did buy parsley, so we'll see if we get to the parsley. I did not buy rosemary. So let's go ahead and start with rosemary. I am just going to put one seed per cell. I could do more than one, but honestly, I don't really want that many plants right now. So I have pre-moistened the soil. So now I'm just going to kind of push them into the soil a little bit. Put the extras back in there. Okay. Rosemary, done. Dill, I do not have. under the surface of the soil, not too deep, probably like quarter inch or less. And then I am going to water these again once I'm done. Dill, rosemary, done. Oregano I have. Cilantro I do not have and I love cilantro. And again, I'm just doing one seed per cell. Um, I could do two, but I don't really want that many plants. And I'm actually kind of hoping that it works out really well to do it this way. Because I'm starting them a little later in the season. I don't plan on planting these in the ground. I'm actually going to plant them in um, small to medium sized flower pots that I can fit underneath my grow light and hopefully keep them pretty well into the season, if not into the winter, in the house. So I've got some herbs, not as many as I'd like, but I've got some in the ground I just planted today that I bought as plants. And so we will hopefully have these into the winter. Oh my goodness, I forgot how little oregano seeds are. They're absolutely tiny, guys. just the size of the dust particles. I think I already lost one. Another one. And oregano doesn't actually like to be planted in the soil. Um, you really just kind of set it on top of the soil. Oregano done, and then that leaves parsley. Right away, you lose track of where they are in the soil. It's hard to find them so you can cover them again. All right. Put our packages away. Perfect. Seed box. And then 
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole thing inside. I'm going to fill the bottom portion with water. That way the water can wake up from the bottom and then they will stay nice and moist and some of these will germinate a little faster than others. Um, some I think should germinate in seven days or a little less where some is a little more like 14 to 21, but we'll keep an eye on them and it should knock on wood work this time because this is how you're actually supposed to do it. So thank you. <laughs>